Well, I'll be watching with my uh, new channel. Hope you're enjoying the videos of Paul if you've only watched any of them. I'm out now on my FZ6 S1 Phaser, a 2003 model, uh, one owner, 17,000 miles, been really well looked after. So, a quick review on it. I'll give you a quick heads up on what I know about these bikes. I've owned three of the older FZS phasers uh, pre 2003, which were carburetor versions. Uh, and they had a really, really good ride up. They're really nice bikes. Not quite as powerful as these, smoother. They were actually smooth, the gearboxes, but they're a little bit smoother. Now, jumping onto the FZ6, which mine is the S1, they done a fabulous job on them. They got slated when they first come out through MCN and all the, the people who've got the tinted glasses on saying they're not this, they're not that. They're basically an R6 engine, as everyone knows. Uh, the cameras were slightly detuned on them, adjusted. The catalyst was adjusted on them. Uh, the front brakes on the S1 were, uh, weren't blue spot calipers, which come off the FZS, which were really nice ones off the, uh, the Thunder Aces. And that's the difference. The old FZS had the Thundercat engine in it, which carburetor. This one is for injection. A very uh, revvy bike. So when you're taking off on them, uh, first and second at low revs, under uh, 4,000 revs, they feel a bit gutless. But I can assure you that gutlessness is like less than two seconds. When you hit that bike in second gear upwards and hit four and thousand revs and upwards, that bike takes off, and I mean it takes off. Uh, it's got about a top speed of 140, 145 miles an hour. And they, this is a standard bike that's just been built for the road, it's not tuned, it's not race tuned. Uh, to ride, uh, the seat's a little bit hard, but ride more and you'll get used to it. People spend fortunes on comfort seats, it's the time you spend in the seat. Uh, these bikes have been built and been tested by the Japanese manufacturers. I, I've never changed the seat on one yet. The handlebars, they're comfortable, but they're a bit forward and down. You can get nice as to bring them up if you, like me, want to do a bit more touring and a bit more camping and hotels and riding around. Going around the lanes, absolutely, because the bike is only 100, uh, 185, 186 kilograms. It's so nimble and flickable, it's untrue. Uh, really, really comfortable bike. You can do a lot of mileage on it, really can. Uh, in terms of the tank, filtering on them, you can filter all day on them, no problem at all. If you ride them at a steady pace, you can get upwards of 55 miles to the gallon on them. If you want to start tanning them and doing 100 mile an hour, you know, legally off roads, you know, like you couldn't get on the roads, of course. You will be seeing 30, 35 to the gallon out of it, if not less, depending on how far you want to pull back that throttle. Uh, would I advise anyone to buy one? Yeah, I would. Uh, like I say, this is my second FZ6. My first one uh, was the S2, so the dash was different, you know, the digital, you had the... Uh, Revometer on the right with a big clear uh, display for the, the mileage and the bits and pieces. I quite like the dash on this, it's one of them, but you get used to it, it's nice. The other good thing about these bikes is you can actually reset the fuel run on them. Now, there's a few videos out there, and even I didn't know this, I only come across this myself. Uh, you've got reset buttons to adjust the amount of fuel and oxygen in and out of your cylinders, which makes a difference to them. What would I say about if you're thinking of buying one? Forget the hype about it's not a street triple, it's not an SV Suzuki, it's not as fast. You're never going to be able to ride this bike at its potential on the road ever. I don't even think most people can ride it at its potential on the track, to be quite honest with you. Uh, 
just ride it and enjoy it and stay alive because you can I went out for uh, a good two and a half hours and with my nephew Captain Slow he's, he's fantastic he's just passed his test he's, he's only been riding eight weeks now really riding well fell off a few times but we've all done that uh, just enjoy them and I won't say uh, watch I watch loads of videos on YouTubers and, them, and what they say about bikes and this is a good bike and should this be a verse bike just if you like the looks of a bike go out and ride it you make the decision don't let I can't make the decision for you no YouTuber can they can advise you but you know they're shorter, fatter, taller, skinnier, heavier, lighter. Every person on every bike is different. The way you ride a bike is different. You know, just get out, get on the bike. The main thing is, is you get on the bike and you ride it and you enjoy it. And that is the main thing about riding. And when you get the bike for biking, you'll never leave it. Anyway, that that's all I'm going to say. Oh, it's a bigger petrol tank on the uh, on this one. Well, I think about 19 litre. What I'm going to say to you is just enjoy. I'll play a bit of music now. Hope you watch it to the end. If you give me a thumbs up and a like, and if you've got one, tell me what you've got. I'd be interested. We never know. We may meet up on the road and have a ride or a race off road, of course. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.